It's so intense when you're out on the road having all these experiences, sleeping out. Time kind of ticks in a different way. We are Maudi and Eric. On this stretch of our UK adventure, the tough Welsh countryside tests our perseverance time and time again, but also rewards us with meeting the wonderful and hospitable locals. Wow, it's like a massive attack of these little midges. It's like a cloud flying outside. We saw it already when we came up from this valley. Massive and massive amounts. We just got into the tent and we got hundreds of them inside. Uh, it's been a massacre, unfortunately. But man, oh man, I've never seen so many little flying animals in my life. It's crazy. Wild nature, they say. <laughs> you will enjoy it, they say. <laughs> and yeah, if we have to pee, I guess we have to do it inside. You are not going outside tonight. <laughs> Eric is signing. Maybe you should leave uh, your tips in the comments down below. Thank you. Good morning. We are now here in this farm field again. Yesterday we asked the farmer if we could stay in this field and the neighbors here, they walked by yesterday. So I went to them to tell them that we were legally staying here, that we had permission. Now they came out to tell us that if we need a toilet or if we want to go to the shower, we could come in. And wow, I mean, that's exactly what you want, right? A hot shower would be amazing right now. So really thankful I'm gonna pack up my stuff and have a nice warm shower. It's a good Kindle for fire. Yes. Do this to make what? All oh, these things for for the four chair, for chair to yeah. connect the, the well the, for the back. Super lovely to meet these people this morning who kindly invited us in their house to have a shower which is always super nice after a couple of days on the bike. We had a lovely breakfast with some good coffee and interesting stories to share. Uh, this man he was a woodworker and he showed us some woodworking with a shave horse. He gave me a little piece of wood and I'm hoping to make a stirring device for our AeroPress with it to replace the plastic one. It's just lovely to make things with your hands so uh, yeah hopefully uh, that will work out and we have some nice memories from that. We're now three weeks on the road and it's amazing how time works. It already feels like three months. It's so intense when you're out on the road having all these experiences, sleeping out and then meeting all the people. It's such a big contrast when being back home and doing your regular everyday life time kind of ticks in a different way. We love cycle touring but this is what we don't like to see. 25% wow that's gonna be a task. Whew. Let's do it. You're holding up. It's kicking my ass. Type two fun. That's really tough. It feels like you're a dishcloth getting wringed out. Man, just like all the laziness just get pushed out of your body. Man, maybe that's why the expression going through the ringer, maybe it's that's why it's so, maybe it comes from a, that kind of feeling. Man, it's tough. That's really great news. Thanks for the heads up.
there's this phenomenon when you get older it feels that time speeds up and I think that has to do with the everyday routine and somehow in that because you repeat it every day it feels like the time seems to be speeding up and here out on the bicycle we have our certain routines but every day is different where we sleep who we talk to what we see so maybe that's like kind of the opposite effect that time seems to be slowing down in a way if somebody knows how that exactly works I would love to know it's so interesting that time has a warping kind of scale yeah it's 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 weird and wonderful at the same time good morning here on this beautiful day there's a heat wave now in Wales can you imagine even the locals said that's an exception, so we're really lucky to be riding here this time of year. Um, it's also like perfect circumstances for midges to come out. They first need uh, rain and then they need a lot of sunshine. And then they come in the thousands or millions. They said that actually this year it's the worst they've seen in many years. And that's also because probably the winters don't get as cold anymore, so they don't die out. They like to be near water sources, but yesterday we were close to a river and there were a lot and now we're in this boggy area and there were almost none. So yeah, we're now going up to Northwest Wales. Hope to see a little bit of Snowdonia if we have the time. And yeah, it's just a wonderful day for riding. This impressive sculpture is made from a hundred thousand seized knives confiscated from the streets of Britain. The Knife Angel stands as a national monument against violence and acts as a symbol to raise awareness for how violence and aggressive behavior deeply affect communities. Where are we now? Did this ever... Actually the names are really difficult to pronounce here in Wales. It's a beautiful spot actually. Here on the west coast, the sun is setting now, people enjoying the, the seaside. Yeah, it's just like home in a way. We also have a west coast where the sun sets in the sea. After leaving Aberystwyth, we struggled to find a suitable camp. After asking a plethora of people for a possible spot, and with no obvious wild camping in sight, we were forced to ride on into the night. Hey, good morning everybody. We are now here in the Garden of Victoria. After yesterday we couldn't find a place. We checked at several caravan parks and it was, yeah, everything was just closed. The reception was closed. We called some numbers. Nobody would answer us. And then suddenly, out of nothing, Victoria was there and she offered us this piece of grass here to pitch our tent. She offered us power, a shower, toilets, everything. This is one of those magical moments out on the tour after hours and hours of searching and then suddenly like a thunder strike you're in somebody's garden. <laughs> I think Maudi now also wants a dog for bicycle touring. Hey. Hey. So we're heading out again and if you would like to stay in the area of Borth in an Airbnb Victoria rents out the, her house here and uh, it's a fantastic uh, place here. It's uh, secluded. Check it out in the links down below. We are heading out and uh, you know, coffee is on our mind to get ourselves going. And as Maudi always says, keep our relationship healthy.
you. That looks delicious. Slight orange peel in it. Mm. We are here um, for our battery charging. We also have to make a thumbnail and the power is key for us. Um, we have to do some internet work um, for route planning, checking the weather. Hotels and everything are quite expensive here in the UK. We go to cafes from time to time to do a little bit of work and do a little bit of charging. So. Look at this mark, it's, <laughs> it's actually huge, almost as big as my head. The owner of the cafe came over after she saw us talking to the camera. A lovely opportunity to ask her a few questions. How long have you been running this place? 15 years. And my son has a roastery in Cumbria and he roasts the coffee beans and the, he makes the hot chocolate and everything. So we keep in the family. The wonderful cakes that have been served here, it's all homemade? Homemade maybe. All By you? <laughs> ah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I love making cakes. Absolutely love it. In these 15 years, has it always been easy to run the shop like this? Easy? Whew, no. My son got married last week in top of Scotland and that's the first holiday I've had for 15 years. It's hard work. Hard, hard work, yeah. But good, fun. I like to make cakes and I like to talk, as you can tell. But the happy is what I find young I Babal what I'm happy is when I be Be happy and be kind to your fellow men. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> From a warm day in a cozy cafe, carrot cake and coffee. We're now in this type of weather. It's kind of the whales that you expect, right? Wow. You found something? In the distance there you see the big bridge going over to Barmouth and uh, yeah, it's super cool we're looking for a camp spot of course now at the end of the day and I uh, thought maybe around the corner here but there's also water coming in so when the tide rises we would potentially flood here so that's not a good idea Rolling. So it's the next day and uh, yesterday we had a hard time finding a camp spot. We had to climb over each other into the tent. Really uncomfortable. Um, I don't know where you're panning around <laughs> but maybe I can go here and I will continue my story. Um, so yeah we finally made it to this place where we had a I had a reasonably good night's rest. The lady behind the camera had a little bit more difficult time. That means somebody needs coffee and that's what we're gonna do here on this amazingly beautiful location. Beautiful. Yeah, so Maudi is uh, going to make a nice coffee sequence <laughs> for you guys and I'm about to relax. So uh, enjoy! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shoot the video and you're gonna uh, make the coffee. That's a oh, good I'm gonna make the coffee. Yeah. Because I'm the best coffee maker. And that is actually true. Oh. <laughs> yes. You should Darn do it. it, so <laughs> I have to do it every you time do now. It every day. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
Thank you for watching this part of our UK adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out one of the videos here on screen to see more of our adventures.